Family, what's going on? Minister Bernard Marrow here, grateful to reconnect with you all. It's another beautiful, blessed Monday that God, the only true living God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, has truly blessed us to see. It's Monday, July 24th, 2023. It's another beautiful, blessed day and new week that we are truly blessed, always being blessed to press forward in by faith. We are in week eight, continuing in this summer series titled Life in the Spirit. So let's get into it. Check it out, family. Monday motivational moment. All things spiritual. All things spiritual. I want to share with you 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 9 to 16 in the New Living Translation. The word of the Lord says, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. But it was to us that God revealed these things by his spirit. For his spirit searches out everything and shows us God's deep secrets. No one can know a person's thoughts except that person's own spirit. And no one can know God's thoughts except God's own spirit. And we have received God's spirit, not the world's spirit, so we can know the wonderful things God has freely given us. When we tell you these things, we do not use words that come from human wisdom. Instead, we speak words given to us by the Spirit, using the Spirit's words to explain spiritual truth. But people who aren't spiritual can't receive these truths from God's Spirit. It all sounds foolish to them, and they can't understand it. For only those who are spiritual can understand what the Spirit means. Those who are spiritual can evaluate all things, but they themselves cannot be evaluated by others. For who can know the Lord's thoughts? Who knows enough to teach Him? But we understand these things, for we have the mind of Christ. And so family, living life in the Spirit means to live on a greater level. Understanding how blessed you are as a child of God and how God created you to flow and function by faith in the earth. Always following the leading of the Holy Spirit, living by the power of the Holy Spirit. Paul taught that God's wisdom is revealed by the Holy Spirit and only understood by those who are spiritually mature. Those who seek God, nothing is hidden and held back from us. You have to be spiritual to discern and receive spiritual wisdom and knowledge from God. You have to be spiritual knowing how to discern to do spiritual things, having the mind of Christ. All things spiritual can only be done and obtained through the Holy Spirit. Being able to see in the Spirit, hear in the Spirit, pray in the Spirit, and discern in the Spirit. This is exactly why you cannot just live life naturally, because it's the Spirit of God that leads us. You have to live life in the Spirit in order to be led by God. All that God has promised by faith manifests from the Spirit realm into the natural. And so family, it's seriously important that you live life in the Spirit, letting the Holy Spirit be your advocate. God has greater in store for us. So keep your faith in motion. As always, through Jesus Christ, all of us are created to live an abundant life and to help others do the same. So let the Holy Spirit lead you. Let the Holy Spirit have his way in your life. Choose to live life in the Spirit. Press forward and move by faith. Y'all already know, by faith we good, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Enjoy this new week to the fullest and expect great things. Know that God is always with you and he will always have you covered, working out every situation for your good. Be great, be bold, and be fearless. I love you all, and I'm truly praying for you always. God bless your abundantly family. I'm out.